Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And I have a surprise for you all today. I wasn't gonna do a video this soon, but we got a new bird. This is Mia. She's doing really, really well. And I'm super surprised myself because I didn't know what she was gonna be like with Lambo, with Mango, with us in a new environment. So I'm going to break it down for you guys today, what to do when you first bring a new bird home. So I'm gonna share exactly what we did and she's been attached to us and just loving us. She's already learned how to step up. She's been trying lots of different foods. She's already had her first shower. Let's take a look at what to do when you bring a new bird home. The first thing we did was we opened the bird carrier that she was in and we just waited for her to come out on her own. So we were patient and gentle and kind. She's playing with my hair right now. Ah, she's so cute. I love her. We just wanted to make sure that she felt comfortable and she felt safe. We didn't want to scare her, startle her. We also made sure to put Lambo in another room and close the door so that she could come out on her own time. She was really super curious and really friendly right from the beginning. Now she is also young. She's two and a half months old. So I do want to add that when you have a bird that's a baby, they're usually going to take to you more. And I I've just found with Mango and now with Mia that when they're young, they just are way more social with you and they're less scared. So we've had a similar experience with both of them. It took seconds for Mia to climb out of that carrier. And the first thing she did was flew on top of my head. So I was super surprised, but she's been social with us from the beginning and Right from the moment that we had her out of this carrier, we started to do what we would do with Mango to get her to step up and we would just put our hand or our finger right in front of her. And at first, the first like three, four times, she didn't know what to do, but then eventually she started to catch on and just come on to her finger without a treat. Now, normally I would do this with target training, but it was evening time. It was time for her to go to bed, for us to go to bed. And we were also super excited. So, and we didn't really know how she would react or how she would be with us. So yeah, you can't even see her right now because she's literally sleeping in my hair. So Mia is also a turquoise conure. So if you have a turquoise conure, let me know in the comments below or just let me know what kind of conure do you have. The first treat that I introduced to her was pine nuts because they're a little bit soft and they're really small. So I was offering her pine nuts and she seems to really like that. And this morning when I got up, I came to see her. I just hung out near her cage at first and wanted to make sure that she felt comfortable with me. So I know sometimes people message me and tell me that their bird doesn't wanna come out of the cage or it's biting when they put their hand inside. Now with her reaction and how she was with us, the first evening that she was here, I knew that she was already super comfortable with us and that she was pretty well socialized. So I hung out by her aviary first. I had my lemon water. I did some notes and I was just hanging out nearby. I turned on some relaxing, calming music that I found on YouTube. Just peaceful, calming music and piano playing just to set the tone that this is going to be a calm, safe place. So I decided to just let her come to me if she wanted to. I would put my hand out if she didn't come step up or fly over onto my hand. I would take my hand away and then I would try again. And eventually she just came to the door. I put out my hand and sure enough, she stepped up. I made her a little bit of a fresh salad for breakfast. So I just chopped up some green beans, some pepper, some apple. I put in some sprouts and I wanted to figure out what foods she's going to like. So throughout the day, I'm offering all kinds of different foods to figure out what foods she likes, 
what foods she doesn't like and what treats she's going to like that is going to allow me to work with her when we're training. So later on, I offered her also Harrison's pellets along with a little piece of cashew. She loved the cashew and she also loved Harrison's pellets. So these are all really good signs. Later on, I also offered her a piece of almond. So I found out that she also likes almond. Afterwards, we were having some hard boiled eggs and I offered her some. I found out that she really loves the egg white part, whereas Mango really loves the yolk part. So it's just interesting to see how different they are in their tastes, their personalities, what they like, what they don't like. She's usually attached to myself or my husband. Sometimes she flies around. She's really exploring right now. She's very curious. She's in a new space. So I'm allowing her to figure out every room in our home so that she knows where she can go, where she can perch, where she's comfortable, where she likes to be, and just explore. So she's also been explore biting our hands. We're just bonding, we're creating that bonding experience. And whenever she's allowing me to touch her, then I'm making sure that I'm being very gentle so that she knows that I'm not going to hurt her and we're building that trust. We offered her a play with some lukewarm water and she stepped right into it and started shaking around, dipping her beak, having a good time. So she had her first bath as well and she really loved it. I also need to add guys that if you are bringing a new bird home and you already have a bird, that it's very important to quarantine them for 30 days. That means they need to be separated. They should have separate cages, but they should be separated in different parts of the house. Remember that each bird has a different personality and they might be scared of a new environment and new people and they don't know what's going on. So just stay calm and make sure that they're not overstimulated and provide a calm and quiet atmosphere for them to get used to you and their new home. Now let's just talk a little bit about letting your bird settle in. So you wanna just let your bird be. And it's fine to also put them in their aviary that you have set up for them prior to them coming home and just let them be in there to get used to their surroundings. Now remember that each bird is unique and each bird will be differently. One bird might be really quiet as they adjust to their surroundings and they're observing what's going on and where they are. Another bird might feel really stressed and want to hide and stay in their cage or their space and they won't want you to come near them for a little while. So you need to give them that space. Others might be immediately comfortable and want to spend time with you, which is what happened with Mia. So again, we got super lucky, but just learn your bird's body language or do some research on bird's body language. You also want to find a motivator. What is going to motivate them? So this is exactly why I said I've been testing out Mia by offering different types of nuts and seeds to see what is going to be her favorite because mango's favorite favorites aren't necessarily going to be her favorites. It's just going to take a little bit of time for you to get to know what they like and what they don't like. And the way to do that is to offer as much variety as possible. Make sure you do it throughout the day and throughout the weeks and don't try to bombard them by giving them a full table buffet all at once because they're going to nibble away at different things over time as you offer them. Remember to always move at your bird's pace and just go with when they're ready. Don't force any interactions or anything like that. Now, stepping up is a very sophisticated behavior and it is a form of trust. So Mia came to trust us very quickly, but that doesn't mean that any new bird coming into your home will. Also, don't try to force them to step up. If it happens, it happens. Eventually, once they feel comfortable and trust you, you can do target training with them. And once you start doing training, stepping up or target training, then those treats that you figured out that they really like, what motivates them are gonna come in handy.
Let's talk a little bit about behavior. So there could be positive behavior and negative behavior. We want to react to the positive behavior and reward that behavior. But when it comes to negative behavior, if you get a bite, for example, you don't want to react to that or you need to stop what you're doing and change what you're doing. Remember, right from the get-go, you want to start the training process. So with behavior that you want to see and that you like, you can reward that behavior and react to it. But if there's behavior that you don't like and you don't want to see, make sure to not react to this behavior because it could encourage it to keep happening again. That's it for today, guys. I hope that you love Mia as much as we do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of our new edition, and I'll see you next time.